Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am doing a dinosaur cake today. This is also another request. I'm starting off with 8 inch cake rounds and this is from my moist chocolate cake recipe also found on my YouTube channel. I am using my buttercream and I've added some crushed Oreos. And this is a dinosaur cookies and cream cake. I'm filling in my cakes with my Oreo buttercream, making sure that it is nice and even for each layer. And I've decided not to do a crumb coat with this cake just because the cream has crumbs on it already and so I've decided not to do a crumb coat and just give it a nice healthy layer of frosting. I'm filling in and making sure my cake is nice and covered and then I am going to be smoothing out the sides. I'm using my cake scraper and then going back in filling in on any gaps that I have until I get the smooth consistency that I want for my cake. And then once I'm done frosting, I place this into the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes just so my cake has time to settle before I do my ganache dripping. And now onto my ganache. I made sure that it was nice and cool and that way it doesn't melt my cake. and then the rest of my ganache goes on to the top. And smoothing off the ganache on top. Okay, and on to decorating my cake. Right here, I am using a Wilton 2A tip, and I am just doing imitation of rocks. I added a little bit of black onto my buttercream, and so it gives it a nice gray effect. And then this is the number 233 grass tip that I am using. And I used the color green, added a little tint of black, just so that my green wasn't so bright. And I also decided to add some grass onto the bottom of my cake board as well also. And then before I finished decorating everything, I decided to place my dinosaurs on top of my cake. Now I'm using a tip number 32 to do some bushes on my cake. And this is a juniper green color that I am using. And I also added some more grass and some rocks on the bottom of my cake board as well. And here I decided to do um, some vines hanging off my cake. This is a number 352 tip that I'm using. 
this is the same color that I did with the grass and then I went back in with the juniper green and did the same and then as you can see hopefully I also added some Oreo crumbs in between my dinosaurs as well also just for, for some dirt effect and this is what my dinosaur cake looks like you guys this is my version of a cookies and cream dinosaur themed cake hopefully you guys like my video on how I did this tutorial if you guys did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and I will see you all in my next video thanks for watching guys